Hello guys, hello guys. Hello. What's up bank? What's up bring Blixtis back? Hello guys, hello guys. Is it live? Yes, we're live. Live on twitch.tv <coughs> Is my jungler trolling me? Am I being targeted into the hero or what's happening? It's a volley ban into an Irelia jungle pick. <laughs> and we drafted four AD carries. <laughs> Avil. Are you what do you me? think about the influence of the Aurora Borealis on penguin reproduction? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. Nice, they dodged. What was that, man? What was that champion select? Nobody even said anything. Everybody is trolled. Hello guys, hello guys. Welcome to the stream everybody. Hope you having a good day so far. Blasts. Thank you for the sub. Is today a Scion day, Pagman? I don't know about Scion, but it's a try-hard day. I wanna do a full try-hard today. Really, really put effort into these games. Make sure I win them. I had a bit of a um, 28 months baby balls kiss Donny balls kiss. Had a bit of a rough game here uh, before I started the stream. Um, man, it didn't <laughs> it didn't go so good. <laughs> it was a bit of a rough game before I started the stream here, but I thought I don't know. This is a Darius matchup, man. I hope I won't get banned for it. Should be fine. Why the vibe? Luis, thank you for sub.
yogurt. Thank you for the tier free sub. Thank you, sir. When are you becoming a tuber? A VTuber. I have a model. I'm I'm creating a model at the moment. It's soon ready. Pick more range champions, yes! Pick ranged! Oh yeah! Five range champions! Fuck yeah, man! Yes! Ten range champions! Let's do it! What is this meta, man? I can go Quinn. Quinn is good versus range champions. And like Volibear is not good for. Sion is good versus range champions as well. Volley is just not good. So, I mean, it's one of these. I guess I'm blind picking, so San is technically better. It's Swain support, 100%. 100% Swain support here. They don't, you don't blind pick Swain top. Oh. <laughs> Frick. Ah, uh, nice fucking meta, Riot. Fuck yeah, man. Five range champions. <laughs> I mean, they're not gonna win. I try hard with Sion. I need water, beer, beer. God Morgan Babu owes. I'm back. Hey Bors, just wanted to let you know my left nut finally dropped. Moki made a Good thing afternoon, for good sir. Crown break, thank you, thank you. Usually, all right. Can I let you? Can I let you guys in on a bit of a secret? You guys want to know a bit of a secret? Usually, with Sion, passive only kills melee champions. Big tick balls. That is a good um, general. General f um, law of Scion. Usually only kill melee champions with passive. Mostly. I mean, then when you get claw, it's a different story, but. Good deaths are not a thing versus range champions. So they have five range champions. Leaning. You will see that I'm now. You, you, you know how I usually go 0 5. Well, you will see my strategy this game is gonna be 0-0. See, I don't just... I don't just stupidly int my games. I make sure to int when it's good to int. And I make sure to play safe when it's good to play safe. It's about looking what you're up against and playing accordingly. 
Same as how you build accordingly with your items. You also need to play accordingly. Make sure to not get hit by Z, that's the only thing I'm thinking about right now. Because that's the thing, he gets bonus health for it. And it's like, I'm not gonna let him get that. And if he matches it with his W, he gets even more health. Should probably wait out his Conqueror. Yeah, Convincing shit, the man. world that you aren't inting your games has to be the most successful example of gaslighting large groups of people. Fuck. Oh, that was unfortunate. I don't know how he burnt th burnt out my potion so fast. If I'm lucky here, he won't use his TP. That would be very good for me. Pause dab. I have no reason to lane versus him. Cyan Gaming Punk Champion. Yeah, Cyan Gaming. The classic here. Love this champion. I love dying five times in lane just to win the game later. I recognize this gameplay. This is what happens every time I play this champion. <laughs> he's not gonna win, right? That's the funny thing. This fan thinks he's gonna win, but he's not gonna win. I'm gonna ult him. I'm 
There's no way Kindred comes here. The tab ice rush can't kill me. I want these Krugs. Swain recall here. Probably he probably did. I get plating and wave. Hopefully I get the wave. It's tight. I can't just walk up and die now. This is one of those scenarios where I actually have to let him push. Ooh, letting him push. Something you never want to let happen if you're playing Scion. You never wanna let the enemy enemy push into your tower. But here I have to, because I had no way of making a good death or surviving, so... Hopefully can regain push here. That hits. Ah, trading like this is just not worth it. Yana, damn it, don't take the Grom, save my tower, damn it. What is this? You're level 7! Ah, oh, GG. She lived though, nice. What have I paid? I'll take one more cannon away from her. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this is probably the wave where I should let her get it. I mean, it's crashing into the tower, right? But she'll still be able to catch the cannon. Because she's Kion and she's fast. But I'll just clear it. I get to farm double. Double cannons. Where are 
Sucks that Swain got free playings here. Suboptimal. So I have all everything on cooldown. I just have to farm up. I'll kill him on my 11 or something. Make sure he can't snipe me with W on this recall. Yeah. Now I can start killing people in passive with the claw. Zero free zero with a bounty. You gotta be kidding me. I have 11 CS above him. I'm 11 CS above him. He has four platings, man. This dude is sitting on four platings. And I'm, I'm 12 CS above him. He has two kills! Two kills! I, I'm, a, I'm on a bounty. We're behind. My team is behind. Riot, this makes no sense right now. Okay, at least he got one now as well. Okay, nice. He's getting a bounty as well now. Saved. Game has no sense. Love you. I mean, he has flash, so I got. I can't just ult in on him. No He's useless champion takes the shutdown. Oh well, it's fine. The important thing is that we killed him, I guess. Big Shangusi. Yeah, what a name. Oh well. And I give a 200 gold bounty. Nice, bro. Nice. My bad, I guess. Shit.
I'm down to team fight here, by the way. I'm strong as fuck. This team my ulti. Stan is an astonishing team fighter. Where's the backup? I got exhausted there as well. And a flash, like, give me out. I guess I should focus Renata. But how, I, I I don't have timers of everybody's flash in the game, so like, I didn't know if Swain had flash or not. Kiana is going assassin Kiana. You have to be reported if you pick an assassin, man. You gotta be reported. Like, Kiana is the best assassin, is she not? Like, sh people would argue she's probably the best assassin out there. Like, you'll see, she will not gonna do anything this game. Champ and she's playing versus five rain champions, which she all counters. Like, assassins naturally counters squishy rain champions. Yeah? And she's not gonna do yak shit. Champion is dog. The entire role of assassin is dog. Can't play those anymore. to burn, do I? <laughs> How lame is that? Looks like an enemy team picked an even more useless champion named Ari. So maybe we have a chance. Ari is OP. Oh, is she now? Ori is OP, really. Didn't they nerf her? Why am I even TPing on this guy? What a waste.
they got him. Is there someone on this? No. No, there isn't. Turn on the stream and I see Bows on Sion. Yeah, I mean they picked five ring champions. Um Holy Bear doesn't really do good into rain champions. Sion does pretty well into rain champions, so I figured it would be a good idea. I could have probably helped the Twitch there. <laughs> could have released my Q earlier. Probably saved his life, but I will. My first kill. Let's go, boys. My first kill. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah, looks like I'm going 0-6 and I'm gonna win the game again. That's crazy, dude. This vision thing lasts for an eternity. It's actually incredible. They're probably gonna do the gang thing on me. I am marked after all. Never mind. She went mid lane. My team is resetting, so hard for me to look for stuff. Shit, the wave. No, no. I will ruin you. going a little bit nice important thing is getting the wave because you see how now this wave is pushed up all the way here important is I got the wave We have an infernal dra dragon spawning. It's a soul. I could team fight. I am level 16. I think I think I can be very dangerous in a team fight. But Sion is so. Here's the thing with Sion, right? Sion in team fight is very coin flippy. If I hit my ulti and my Q, I will one shot everybody. So we have like a, a fed twitch, right? Or like a fed anything. 
they will usually do X amount in any team fight. If I am super fed, I can still be useless if I just miss my abilities. It's like a mage in a way. Mages can be fed but also useless if they miss their stuff. So I'm not the biggest fan of team fighting with Zion. I might lure my team into false security where in reality I might just miss all my abilities and be useless, you know? Xan is not like other champions really. Even skill shot champions, they usually have like this guy is dead. <laughs> what is he doing? So disrespectful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Swain rage splitting. He gave up on his team. He won't even bother recalling. I guess. I guess we can't end. So it kind of makes sense. Tank man, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Two hundred armor. Two hundred armor. How much base armor does Twitch have? 93 base armor. Riot! For fuck's sake! A ranged champion is not supposed to have 93 base armor. That's not supposed to be a thing. Like, your numbers don't add up. Your numbers don't add up then. So, okay. Alright. I'll give, I'll give you an example. Okay. So, let's have Void Staff, yeah? Let's compare Void Staff to, to Shadow Flame. It's a good flat pen with percent pen. Um, you know, it's a good. It's a good. Uh, so you own, you buy Void Staff when an enemy team has a certain amount of magic resist, yeah. Because otherwise it's not it's not gold efficient. You're better off buying Shadow Flame, because flat pen is better when they're low on MR, yeah. Okay. 
So let's do the same thing with AD items, right? Let's compare 30% pen with lethality items, yeah? I mean, if, if, if squishies, squishy champions have a base armor of 93, you're always, no matter, they can buy zero, zero armor. You will still be better off buying percent pen rather than lethality. Even if they have zero armor, all of them, you're still better off. Is this, is this supposed to be like that? Does that sound like, like a good idea? Yeah, when does this thing run out? Here, he ran out. I get ganked. <laughs> like that's my that's my argument. Don't make like you can you can f feel me though. You feel me, right? Like okay, nice. This like is good. Like how can you, how can it be, okay so for assassins, how every single, every game, right, you're forced to buy a void staff item, every, or like you're not forced to, right, nobody's forcing you, but it is gold efficient to buy a percent armor pen item versus zero armor in the entire team, they can be this, all squishies, I would still buy percent armor pen, because it's, it's, it's the best item. You know? Why is the base armor 90 on a rain champion? Like, are you out of your mind? That's... Okay, it, it doesn't make sense. Because then you, you, you're you better off, like, you know? You feel me? I feel what like you feel me. What have you done to Timothy Fly, Simon? Have not seen this guy in months. Hopefully he is still shilling Pogo. Oh, the kick. Uh, he has frozen heart, so I auto attack so slowly. But I was able to get him here with the solo bolo here. special oh hell yeah Good win. I mean, it's the classic, really. Go 0 6 in lane, win the game. We've done these before. It's nothing out of the ordinary, really. How much turret damage did I have? Eleven K, not bad. So what what's the plan, guys? Like, what's the plan, right? So if 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 nobody ever builds armor and you still have to buy percent armor pen, something is clearly wrong with the game. I don't know if it's a nerf on Lord Dominic Sereldia's angle, or if it's a buff on Lethality angle, or if it's a nerf on base armor angle, or what it is. But doesn't really make sense, you know. Imagine imagine mages going around building void staff every game versus five squishy champions. It's the same uh, same logic, you know. Yo, 
of bows. What do you think of Ilo Santa in Korea? Ilo Santa? Dude, what? Current level 29. He's, is he playing bot games? Dude, did he not get up there like a week ago? <laughs> like, what's taking him so long to level? <laughs> I'll call Aaron one line from now on. Okay, you smite, I remember you smite. You, you know the thing, right? Take a look at his fucking in game name. His in game name is China is better. Like, <laughs> dude, this guy. This guy is gonna get inted so hard, man. Like, <laughs> this fucking idiot. <laughs> what absolute idiot. Well, who bows? Because my my perception, right, when I was in Korea, and what people told me when I was in Korea, they said, um, so Koreans. It's not like it's not like a war on that server. It's not like, uh, oh, I'm from China, uh, uh, so I hate I hate the Koreans, and oh, I'm from Korea, so I hate the Chinese. You know, it's like, it's like people would legit see a Chinese name, like someone with a Chinese name, and they would like int him, and it wouldn't be the same for Koreans. Like Koreans. They don't get inted. Only the the like the the China get inted. So like, he's gonna go around with that name. It's gonna be. Uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> like, <laughs> apparently, like Korean server is super racist or something. <laughs> like, that's what I heard. And I noticed it. Like people would just run people down. Like you legit. Like people would have a Chinese name and they would just get run down for zero reason. It was ridiculous. Yeah, we'll see how it goes for him. I hope he sticks to it. He can't name change. Your favorite e-girl and his hashtag is crunch my nuts. Yeah, okay, buddy. Why are you listening to misogynistic music? What? A Akon and Eminem? Smack that. <laughs> Hey, my bad, bro.
the ended up banning Sion here. Should be fine. Imagine banning Sion into pick wall uh, Yoni. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Give me a second, guys. Oh, it is one. Chaba. Hey, anything? Stream my photo. Ah, exact. Ah, I lost your stream, man. man. My bad, my bad guys. My apologies. Didn't lock in, damn it. Would have been sort of free win as well. <sighs> muted. I can literally see that I am not muted, you idiots. Like this indicates. <laughs> Guys, did you see? Did you see the latest Twitter drama? Well, it's not even drama. Oh no, he deleted his tweets. So Tarzan tweeted, Someone paid $300 for private coaching from Nee's tweets in March. His TOS states that you cannot get a refund for interrupting a live stream. But it is a private session that was paid for. Guy never gets to reschedule and gets 300 taken from him. And gets told to book again. Um. Bear with me. But it's nice to see you're still being a little poopy pants as per usual. Hope all is well. Yo, what up? Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hi, Tarzan. And he responded. I'm a little under the weather, so bear with me. But it's nice to see you're still being a little poopy pants as per usual. Hope all is well. Um, in regards to your story, I haven't read it, and I know you don't really give a shit about this person. Either way, let's be honest. But if he did get screwed over some, in some way, I'll happily refund him, just like I have like 30 plus clients in the past like three to six months I've refunded with no issues. Uh, generally though, if clients are 15 minutes or more late, I no longer do the coaching anymore. I've set up a stream around them. I've set up a day around them. I'm the one that manages the refunds. I'm the one that eats the PayPal fees. I've got other coaches on my site that I've got to make sure that they're taken care of. Also, I do not have time for clients that schedule and then don't show up on time. Generally, clients do show up on time ever since I've started doing this. Again, not that you care about that or other people. Morning you just want to talk about me a lot. Looking good today. Thank you as always for the stream. Of course, thank you. You've been doing that a lot lately. Um, yeah, just stop the weird drama. Just text me, buddy. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye. I mean, Tarzan deleted his tweets. So I guess, I guess it's not gonna escalate to anything, unfortunately. But that's the latest on the league Twitter. 
Dude, this guy gets 300 bucks for private coaching. How long is a private coaching? Does it say it anywhere? Free. Who, who in the right mind would pay 300 bucks for a coaching session? Like, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. But who would do that? Like, really, 300? <laughs> it's like an hour. <laughs> what? I mean, I've said this before, I'll say it again, like... I believe coaching is a scam. Okay, so there's different types of coaches, right? There's the... Uh, there's the... Um, pro... Pro team... Coach. Okay. First, there's the pro team coach, right? We're talking Yamato Cannon. We're talking Grabs. We're talking like LS when he was on Cloud9. Yeah? These guys, they can do many different stuff. They can... Anything from... Um, um, like, giving the team morale to helping them learn macro and... And and then also help with pick and ban phase in champion select when they're on stage. You know, these these guys can do a lot. I believe a pro team coach should only do pick and ban phase. That's what I believe. So you know what I believe? I believe that League of Legends is 70% no ledge. 70% knowledge, 30% hands. Like hands on keyboard and mouse, right? So, so if you're smart as fuck, you will always read Challenger. Like you don't need mechanics. You can have mechanics of, of, of platinum. If, if you know what you're doing, you will always, always have success in League of Legends. Like we're not playing CSGO here. CSGO is only aim. League of Legends is a strate strategy game. It wasn't like it, like, it's... Because cause here's the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. Yeah? So back in Season 2, it was like 60% hands. And 40% knowledge. Yeah? But that's because people were fucking stupid, man. You take you take a look at s season one to season season seven. People were he terrible at the game when it came to uh, knowledge. Like people were just terrible. And this number, because we got so much smarter, and people have not gotten better mechanics. Like barely. This is barely the mechanic difference from season seven to season now is barely noticeable. But the macro is extremely different. We become a lot smarter. So I think if a coach, okay, I think a, okay, so if a coach, if you're so damn smart, alright, and you're gonna teach other people about macro, you should just become the player then. Like, just become the player. Because mechanics, you will not make a difference if you have big mechanics these days. What really makes a difference if you're if you're a little bit smarter than your opponent. And and okay, so in my opinion, coaches they stu they should stick to a uh, ban uh, pick and ban phase. That's what I think. Like just 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 make a, a smurf draft. Just just focus all your attention on giving your your players favorable matchups. Put all your attention to that. Don't try and teach teach them about the game. Because if you're gonna teach a player about the game, if you if you think you know anything about the game that that, that player don't, uh, you you you're probably well. First of all, you're wrong. Uh, but if if that is the case, you should just take the spot of the player. Because everybody have similar mechanics these days. Like, you know. The thing that makes a difference in League these days is knowledge. So if you think you're better than the player, you should probably take his spot. 
But then there's the, like the, the, the private coaches, right? There's private coaches. We're talking this Nice guy. We're, talk we're talking people like Vega V2. And like, I don't know if LS still does coaching. There there's a lot of coaches, right? Usually they don't have... Y usually... Like, there there's a bunch of them. Probably a hundred people. But usually they don't get recognition because nobody's willing to pay for coach these days. And these guys, these guys are fucking scammers, man. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Private coaches, they're scammers. Like, I mean, I'm not talking specifically about, like, Vega V2, because he's pretty smart. I don't know anything about this Nice guy. Uh, but 90% of coaches that I've talked to, like, this is people you guys don't even know. You don't even know who they are. But they, they, they call themselves a coach, right? And they reach like, they probably reach Grandmaster, Master. And these guys are terrible at the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Like out, out of out of a hundred coaches, you'll maybe find like five people that are actually good at the game and they can actually teach you something. Like legit. You're better off going to like um okay. So if you really, really want to learn the game, right? If you really want to do it, right? So so, so what's the plan? You, you go to a coach, you pay him money, and he's going to teach you the game? That's never going to happen, by the way. But high high chance is the coach is terrible. Like, that that's a, a big chance. The coach is not good enough to, to make it pro, so he does this private coaching thing. He tries to make, make a living out of it or whatever. Big chance the guy is not even good at the game, right? But, like, even if the guy is good, right, you're not gonna learn from buying a coach. Like, that's not gonna help you. That's not gonna help. Are you kidding me? I'm a firm believer in coaches. Coaches should not teach other people how to play the game they should do the draft thing right the draft that's 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 a solid thing like put a put a coach make him learn what is good in the meta and then and then make make him learn what a good draft looks like and then make him win pro games by doing a good draft i'm not a, i'm not a big believer in the whole coach you're gonna get coached and it's gonna help you get better at the game. I'm not a big believer in that. I think most coaches that try to do that, they're just scammers. You're not gonna learn anything. That's what I believe. Like, the thing with League, right? Okay, so here's the thing with League. <laughs> yeah? It's okay. Right? Let's play game one. And I'm being coached. I'm being coached by Mr... I'm being coached by fucking Iron Man over here. He's a challenger coach. Yeah? Game one, I'm playing... I'm playing, uh, I don't know, Sion B versus. I'm playing Sion versus Kennen. Wow, and you know this Iron Man guy, he's really good at the game. So what is what he tells me to do is he tells me to, uh, he tells me to, uh, hey, Bows here, Bows. You know what you're gonna do, Bows? You're gonna hug the bushes. And you're gonna walk up to farm the CS. And then when Kennen goes for an out attack on you, you're gonna walk back into the bush. And you're gonna keep doing that over and over. Play with your W cooldown. You know, it's it's, it's pretty reasonable reasonable take here. Coming from Iron Man, he, he seems to know what he's doing. Right? And then I go into next game. Game 2. Yeah. With Iron Man again, right? And then this time, 
I'm playing Sion versus. I'm playing Sion versus Darius. All right. Well, well, Iron Man here. What does he say? Well, Iron Man gives me the perfect Back tip. Back in the day, we had legends like Void Boy, who always answered every question for free on his stream and was not bothered by it. No, nowadays the only source to improve our coach is Satch. Well, the Mr. Iron Man tells me now, hey, play a little bit careful. It's a Darius. He will beat you in a 1v1. It's a, it's a, it's a fair, it's a fair trick. It's a fair tip. You know, I lose 1v1, so I'm gonna play a bit safe. Yeah. Try and outscale him, maybe look for a uh, outperforming in the team fight later on. Because this is a counter matchup. Good tip. Iron Man is doing good so far. Okay. Coaching session over. Coaching session is over. Alright. Game free now. Oh. Game free. Now, the coaching session is over. I queue up into ranked. I just got my new coaching. Minus, minus 500 bucks in the bank account. <laughs> Alright. Well, wh what is the matchup now? Now the matchup all of a sudden is Sion. Sion versus Set. Uh huh. Now what? What, what? what should I do, guys? What should I do? The the tip, the tip Iron Man gave me versus the Cannon Lane, and the tip that Iron Man gave me versus Darius, they both are not the right way to play the lane now. Okay? They're not. The, you do. You don't do correct thing. If you're gonna play like you play versus Darius, or if you're gonna play like you play versus Kennan, neither are correct. So yeah. Now what? You know? And then there's similar like, how are you gonna how are you gonna be able to tell that Darius is a similar champion to um, Darius is a similar champion to Trindamere? How are you gonna be able to tell that? You know? You, you're gonna tell to a gold player, you know? It's it's very very weird, right? Uh, this coaching this coaching stuff they're not gonna help you. They're re just really not gonna help you. There's not much you you will learn from that. He gives macro tips for players who don't know how to do anything. Yeah, but the macro is different each game. Everything is different each game. You can't do the same. There, there's no textbook on how to play League of Legends. You can't go into game 1 versus Kennen and apply this to game 2 and apply this to game 3. The game is going to be different. You're going to have a different jungler all the time. You're going to have a different enemy jungler. You, you're going to have different matchup. And you're going to have different tempo of the game. So there, he, nobody can tell you how to play the game. Except the game you're in at the moment, right? Does that make sense? You can't go into a game before the game starts and say, do this, this, and this. That's not how it works. Because things happen, and things interrupt your plan. You know? Like, I, I, it's, 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 a, it's a typical example when I say, like, oh... Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing sound, right? And, oh shit, this is a, uh, that is a, wow, well, I'm playing versus a, uh, <laughs> what do we, I'm trying to think of a good match up here. Oh, wow, looks like I'm playing versus Queen. Queen is a good matchup for Sion, yeah? So I, I say, I say to my stream chat here, hey guys. I got a good matchup queen. This should be a good game. And then and then and then I end up dying and like I end up losing the lane. And then and then Twitch chat says I thought I thought this was a winning matchup for a queen uh, for Sion streamer. Didn't you say this was a winning matchup? And then it's like, yeah, but you can't predict how a game is going to go. A game is not solved. 
just from the matchups. There's so many, so many things that they changes the pace of the game. Like for example, Darius matchup, it's, it's incredibly bad for Sion, and you're gonna lose it 90% of the times. But if you get a good trade with good spacing in, in level 2 with Sion, and he levels up wrong ability, you now have a chance to beat him. If you're gonna go with this thing, where uh, it, it's hard guys, it's really hard, because not every game is the same. You know? And you're not gonna play the same every game, you know? You're not gonna do the same macro, you're not gonna go for the same plays. And most coaches are boosted anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, like... I can name like five, five coaches that I, I could actually legit think. Like maybe five people that actually could coach people, but the rest are just bad at the game. Now, yeah. <laughs> name them. Should I name five coaches for good? I mean, I, I, I don't know, right? Because I, I don't, I don't get involved with that thing. I don't really. I have never bought a coach in my life, and I don't really watch their content. Um. So yeah, it's hard. I, I don't know. It's good. I think Ranger's X is good. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Six months with you, handsome, and after six months, you still haven't dabbed for me. So, balls dab, balls dab, balls dab, balls dab, balls dab, balls dab, balls dab. I don't I don't like when when people buy coaches either or like coaching sessions. I don't like that. Minions like really? You, you you know you can probably find like a a Korean cracked out of his mind one trick somewhere on Twitch and they, this guy will sit on like 20 viewers stream and he will answer all your questions. For free. And we have e EU streamers like that as well, right? Like these EU one tricks, 20 viewer and this, and like they don't mind answering your questions, and they're cracked as fuck. They're really, really good. They're all they're challenger, right? Some of these coaches have a hard time getting. So yeah, why would you spend money on them? Got a Kale matchup here, so now this is a good matchup for Sion. <laughs> yeah, I will no way lose this. My Nidali banned Volley Bear, so I got stuck with Sion again. I take tower shot for oh, this is good. First I was supposed to shoot a recall there.
I will recall now instead. This Kale is doing a big mistake here of letting me free farm. She doesn't know that she's gonna get absolutely rolled. Kale legit has her biggest um, chance of killing me and in the early game. The longer she waits, the worse it is for her. I can't. I can. She TP here? How she back so fast? She must have TP'd. I'll stay. Forget the faces of the slain. Even the ground trembles. Ah, I shouldn't have eaten the fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Could have flashed. I didn't want to flash. I'd rather save my flash for a kindred gank, to be honest. Because this death is like. It's like I died, right? But like, it doesn't lose me anything. If anything, I gain tempo. I didn't get my sloth. Rip. Now I will burn her W into a kill. It's gonna burn her W first. 
Oh my. She does have ulti, so she's gonna ulti my ult. But then I'm gonna hit her with the fully charge after. I just need to get her W. After the wave, I guess. Ah, her W is gone. Oh, 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 oh. Into a full charge right after it. I, I, I couldn't one shot her. Where's my damage? All you, Kiana. I guess I'll corrupt and get Claw. Claw is good. Claw is like a, um, a failsafe item. Thanks for nice guy balls. You can call it a failsafe item. N Claw makes it so she can never ever kill me without dying herself. Every time she will kill me, she will die herself. So it's like now, even if I make mistakes, she will still die for it. Dude, guys, I don't know what happened with my ulti or my Q when I did the combo. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. <gasps> the hell? That was weird. <laughs> She stays. She's out of her mind. I missed. I messed up my solo kill so badly. Right, Could have easily gone her. I don't know what happened to my ulti. Hard ability to hit, to hit I guess. Every Kale is going AD these days. Is it better? I feel like AP Kale is just better, no? Why would you want to go AD? 
You get so countered by tab eyes. Juice me with another heal, Yumi. Juice me. How to burn claw, ult, and flash. It's pretty rough. Best thing to do is just to recall now. She rolls me when I don't have cooldowns. With AD sound you can always recall in bushes. They're not. They're not they're never brave enough to face check them. So you save a few couple of seconds. Now I'm level 11. Now I'll start spawn killing her. I'm gonna perma kill her. Every time I ult this up, she's dead. My god. Five people top? Five top? A coach could have helped you with that. Oh, really? A diamond coach. A diamond coach who, who has like master tier peak and he got master tier playing like Yumi support. It's like, yeah, you're the guy I wanna learn from. Yes. I think I might do death angle here just to get her flash out of the way. Someone killing her because she has flash. Solo bolo. See, so I do death just to get her flash. It's like worth. It's worth as fuck. <laughs> She's so fed, man. Might as well go Lord Dominic second. Or else I won't deal any damage. Oh, now let's get Yomis.
One, two, three, four, five. Five enemies. <laughs> Oh wow, look, we had we have a Kiana mid lane again. I'm sure she's useful. Is Who would you rather have? Kiana Assassin or Corky Turbo Mage Damage Dealer? Almost fucked my queue up. <laughs> nice, we're winning on this other map now. I should probably go bot lane more, not keep going top lane here. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel safer split pushing bot lane than top lane. Which is weird, because the, the lanes are like an exact copy of themselves. Like, I don't feel safe here, and I don't feel safe here. But here and here, I feel safe. Nash. Yeah, maybe. People are more willing to give dragons than give barons. So they rather gank the top side than gank bot side. Clear my whole wave. That's why I need hull breakers so she can't clear my wave. Soul is spawning, shit. <laughs> Kill me! Take it a run, take it a run! Kina run! Big! Uh oh, Corky! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Unstoppable. 
They're gonna go Baron. Oh, they don't have Kindred actually. We're good. Let's go Hullbreaker. I have a hard time one v one the Kale, not gonna lie. So thank you. My Q was so bad. Oh my god, my Q was so bad. Level 16 Kale. Oh my. Oh boy. Wards. Fucking flash! Oh, I'm, I'm struggling so much, man. Like, who would have guessed it? Another Love game. Two hundred IQ gameplay. Smiling face with hearts. Another game with fifteen range champions, dude. Like, yeah, pick range champions every fucking game, man. This is great, man. They're all range champions. They're all hitting you from two thousand miles away. Why is Nidalee pinging me? Is she completely delusional? Maybe she's boosted. You are looking hella submissive and breedable today. Dude, she held her ulti for so long actually. soul that's gonna be pain in the ass to play versus asylum I don't like this mid wave we lose we lose the fight here we lose the game Slave. 
Oh 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 oh! Fuck the bad pike. <laughs> he has a chain vest. Oh, whatever, man. We won the fight. That's what matters, I guess. This game is getting pretty intense now. Oh, so intense. It's gonna be a fourth item hull breaker here. We have a mini for Baron, so we have no reason to die mid lane here. See, she has to give me prior right. She can't contest me on this wave, because if she does, she dies. So I'll always have prior, which is very important. Need at least on red buff. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. She's so strong! They're not on it, are they? How did Kale get there? Oh, I have Hull Breaker. Massive spike. Look at you, you guys want to see something? You guys want to see something epic? Look at my armor. 144 armor, 80 MR. Ah, I, I gotta respawn first. How delusional is this lead in Italy? You're the reason we're losing. Stop spamming FF. Boom, look at how tanky I just got. Super tanky now. If I'm alone. I'm not even there.
These guys trade a mid inhibitor for a dragon. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I mean, game is hard. I don't know what to say. They have level 18, Kale and Corky. These are champions that scale very, very well. And Kindred. Like, they have these superpowers. What am I? I should have just killed him. Kale had to come, shield him. We might lose the game here. We don't have good wave clear. Nidali champion is gonna be the most useless thing I've ever witnessed. Yeah, bro, hit a spear, deal 500 damage. Six months, let's go. Kiona is splitting, by the way. As long as we don't die here. Corky recalled. I'm respawning soon. Corky died. Corky died. I'm. This is coin flip as fuck. Yeah, it's GG. Ah, uh, I'm stupid. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nidali, you suck. Jesus, man. Jesus. That's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, I have never seen a Kiana. I every time I see a Kiana, they always deal the least damage. You should be reported for picking the champion. You should 100% be reported for picking Kiana. Any assassin. And who was this clown? Why was he spam FFing? Incredibly bad at the game. I don't know, the Kale matchup is just so much harder now when she's so much tankier. You see how many times I couldn't one-shot her? It's actually incredible. Hard matchup now. For San, I guess.
I mean, Volibear is permabanned, so I'm not even able to pick him. I want to, but... Bowser, did you ever thought of going to the gym? No. Dude, you know these these people who go to the gym, right? You know these people who go to the gym? Can't they like do something good for society with all their heavy work? Like imagine how many trees can be moved or like uh, moving logs around or like lifting up uh, you know certain stuff in stores and etc etc like gym frogs help society if you're gonna be so strong and stuff like you will build muscle that way as well <laughs> like is that you get the same you get the same result, you build muscle by he 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 uh, lifting heavy stuff. Why don't you just do that but do some good for society? as you. I mean, if I'm ever gonna consider going to the gym, okay? Let's say I'm, I'll consider going to the gym. Instead of going to the gym then, I'll just go go lift some go lift some logs. You know? I'll help my mom uh, you know, build uh, build something. You lift heavy stuff then as well. You get this basically the same result. Lifting groceries, exactly. Like, imagine those people who go to the gym, like, once every day, right? Imagine if they spend all that time, instead of doing their, their whatever they do in the gym, they do that, they go into the woods, and they start building a house, right? Building a house is heavy work, but they could literally build a house. If it's exercise they want. Like, am I... Am I, <laughs> I can't be the only one thinking this, right? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Like, guys, have, have we not seen, like... Okay, so I'll show you then what it is I mean. I should probably go bone plating. YouTube. Guy builds a house. It's not a video. This guy. One year alone in forest of Sweden. And you see he is he has his he has his fucking axe and his saw and then he just goes to town in the forest. Hey, you think this is easy to do? This is very exhausting. High balls less than three. 
He's moving these type of big ass logs. Like how much exercise is this guy getting by the way? Imagine if these gym frogs were doing this instead. We might get arrested if we do that. I uh, shot. Yeah, you did not. You did not just say we. Yeah, you go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You go to the gym. Sure you do, buddy. What you been there like? You you went there once this year, and now you now you act like you're you go you you go there on a regular basis. You're not fooling anyone, man. Let the storm follow in my wake. Come here, Lane. Got my main pick now. Should be a lot easier playing the game. Oh wow, a Kiana mid lane again. People keep picking this? Adapt or perish. Yeah, I just need a leaking go and fuck herself by the way. He's gonna put it out there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have a reason. She can go fuck herself. Um So last game she banned Volleybear and I thought like oh shit, she's a jungler. I mean Volleybear is pretty high pick now and she's a jungler so she wants to get rid of Volleybear. But then this game she's jungle and she doesn't ban Volleybear, so it was 100% the target ban on me when I was in her team. So now I'm gonna actually beat her with Volibear and she's just gonna regret life decisions. I still taste their ancestors. Stuck Not buying cool. Yeah, I, I like Blade better on Volibear. Because your early game strength is just so absurd. So you, you get cool. You really just tap people. Delhi will hover probably. Let her hit me so her passive is gone. I 
Oh man, I'll, I'll yeah, need at least stay. I'll dive both of you. Oh, she is Camille staying. She out of her mind. Think was gonna happen. <laughs> Absolute domination. Oi, oi, oi. Nidalee's bot lane. <laughs> Why wouldn't I stay? Oh no! Oh, I let her through. What have I done? Killer like that then I guess. <laughs> oh man, it's 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 rough for her. It's really rough. <laughs> um build here is gonna be um shit. Why don't I just get hullbreaker? How about I just get hullbreaker for now? And we'll figure it out later. Hullbreaker is terrible early game because it, it gives zero stats. Uh, but I don't need stats. I'm just way too strong already. This will secure me uh, the platings. Which is only two more platings, but. They know what else to buy. Trying to fight me? <laughs> I could let the wave die to the tower. Uh, I just take it, so. My bone plating saved me, you gotta be kidding me. Oi oi oi. Oi oi oi. Oi oi oi. Not bad, not bad at all. I guess I go Triforce. I really love to be here, sir.
She shows up here, she's dead 100%. I can dive her. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no. <laughs> she knows she can't. <laughs> On to the next tower, I guess. I gotta take it and run. They're coming. I don't wanna give my bounty. Oh, oh. If not for the extra loot, maybe, but. I probably would have died either way. I want to go bot now. An ally has been slain. I mean, game is not over yet, by the way. Nidalee is extremely fed. Bot lane. I can dive them with my ulti. Oh, I'm getting so much gold. Oi, 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 oi. I saw the squad is here, so I might as well. With the plating. Nice. Ah, the shield almost went through. Could have been winnable then. I got exhausted there. Don't give me the kill. Mm, what the hell? Ah, don't give her two kills. No, no, not two kills. What? Oh yeah, yeah. When my brother gave them fire, they forgot the fire of their own. Well, I guess I have to kill her a few more times then. 
She has way too good KDA right now. Her KDA is way too good. This is the best spot Volibear can be in where he's, he's sitting towers and now I can just dive her. See she knows that I'll just dive her so she has to let me take this. <laughs> Nidale is not even bothering stopping me, so let's keep going. No, no. <laughs> she got divine. Fuck. That's why she's dealing so much damage. Why am I sitting with Triforce? This item is like trash comparing to Divine. <laughs> what the fuck? No, the, it's easy. It's easy to beat Divine. All you have to do is like one shot her before she's able to out sustain you. Oh, Camille died, wow. That's insta inhibitor. Cause she's the only one who can stop me. Theoretically. Hey balls, how are you? I hope your stream is going well, D. D. I'm good enough, thank you. Might bear special it. If nobody wants to stop me. Didn't deal as much damage as I thought it would. <laughs> it's cause Hullbreaker doesn't work with abilities anymore! Riot! Riot! Bring me back! Please, Riot! Like, really? People are inting with Scion, ulting down towers, and then you nerf so you can't do it anymore? That's, that's the, like... I play Volibear and Scion. Both have... Both have stuff that deals damage to towers with their abilities and both of them got nerfed. So boring. Would have done so much more damage. And like I don't even know if it works against with Sheen effects. Like I'm pretty sure Sheen effects deal still deal bonus damage with Hullbreaker. So it's like they basically only nerfed what, Scion Volley Yorick? Yeah Yorick was a big problem I guess. Shit. Nerf Yorick. Can't have that. And Tristan, I uh Greeting from Germany. I'll push here. Dragon is not for another fifteen seconds. Enemy team has to recall to deal with me. Or they will lose their base. So we have guaranteed dragon here. And whoever comes here, I'll I'll dive her. <laughs> I 
Earth's real man. I like fucking. I ate his ass. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, the turret is all I really wanted. The turret and the dragon. And we got both of them, so that's nice. Getting a kill on top of it is just a plus. I could go Essence Reaver next item. Legit. Is that bot lane? Yes it is, nice. What if I go with uh, with, with Shelly here and I'll end the game? I will protect you. I will protect you till the end, Shelly. Nobody's touching you. So yeah, they're obviously gonna have to deal with me. Should be a free burn then. Chilly, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get out, I guess. Kill, but he had flash. Have been extra busy with my master's thesis this month, but had to drop my monthly sub to the best streamer there is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So kind. Focusing the wrong target, Camille is too tanky. Ah, oh, you already have seen item, I'm an idiot! <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot, I forgot I bought Triforce. Oi oi oi, oi oi oi, what should I do? I'll sell that. DD or something. Now she gets her LDS. Doesn't matter, we ace them. That's GG. And that's how you, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you dominate lane so hard that it leads you into a victory. GG. Kiana did so well actually. The hell? I have 19k damage to towers, it's pretty good though.
Let's see if I have any good songs here. A distant cousin is very sick, and his wish is for you to play singed. I'm gonna do that. Cozy blanket, you're still not a sub. Cozy blanket, you've been you've been one of my top viewers now for I don't know how long. Still not subbed. Are you kidding me? How long have you watched me now? You tune in every day, man. <laughs> gift him? <laughs> I'm not gonna gift him. You, you, you're, you're an idiot if you sub the streamers. <laughs> Except me, of course. People who sub to me get actually get exclusive content. I mean, I'll ask my tier 3 subs, ask them. I mean, we're talking Discord face cam uh, call. We're talking... We're talking private DMs. Like... Add on Snapchat, you name it. Scorp, thank for sub, thank you sir. Stealing force and joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm stealing force and joke. Okay, so... So when you guys copy... When you guys copy every single... Every single meta and every single one joke force and does it's okay when you guys does it but i do i say one thing that has that that is it and i'm co okay nice i'm not allowed to but you you guys can do it all day long nice my bad i guess Tier 3 sub to Boars for private session lol singed game. It's time. Yo Jake, thank you for the three dollars. Yeah, tier 3's, uh, tier 3's get exclusives, they get access to singed games. Only tier, tier 3 subs get singed games. Why is this guy talking to himself? <laughs> Feel the power of the wild.
Guys, I really want this skin. How do I get access to this? Do I have to get it in a shop, maybe? But I think what I should do, right? Because I'm a league partner, so I have access to all of these. I, I can pick the skins. But I don't own the skins. Yeah, I don't own them. That's why, for example, I can't buy Chroma. Like, l let's, let's see I buy a Chroma. Oh shit, 1600 RP for a for one color. Yeah, I, I have to buy the skin first. So I don't own the skins. Maybe I should buy all Volibear skins to guarantee uh, Prestige Duality Dragon on my next shop. Because now I can get I can I can get all of these in my shop. So if I buy all of them, I can't get them, and I'll guarantee this one. But I feel like. <laughs> Am I really about to spend the uh, spend money on Riot? <laughs> like <laughs> You can't get pr prestige from shop? Really? <laughs> How do you get it then? Like is it even possible? It's with the craft system. You can surely get it with everything you have. Oh. Yeah, if, I don't use the whole. I don't use. I don't use the loot system at all. I have a bunch of stuff with slaying. We can try it after the game. Would you call yourself the best top laner? Mm, I wouldn't say I'm the best top laner. I'm one of the best. But it's, it's, it's a hard measurement to measure. Because, okay. So, peop people are good at different things, right? So, for example, someone can be good at laning, others can be good at, you know, <laughs> late game, others can be knowledgeable about top lane, others can have good decision making. It's just. Overall, I, I'd say I'm prob probably one of the best. I have very good um, laning. As you can see now when I start playing Volibear, it's stomping every lane like it's nothing. Try to predict his flash with my E so I get the shield, but I was just not enough. It's the classic. Classic ignite top lane player. Kill your first blood and now lose lane because you have no wave management. This death was completely fine. Another coward. 
Every Ignite top laner is the same, man. Every Ignite top laner. Now he's a bit screwed, isn't he? I messed up so bad, my E missed. I messed up so bad. Damn it. Bad death. I'm gonna go AP this game, I think. He stays, I dive him. I'm throwing. <laughs> I'm throwing. I don't even think he can beat him. Ah, oh, this is so doomed. <laughs> I mean, Viego ulted there, but I feel like Viego is a champion who never has... Like, does that ult even go on cooldown? Or it will be on cooldown now, when I fight him, yeah? Holy shit, he's so fed actually. It's like about 10k more gold than me. The hell? How does he have so much gold? What is your favorite kind of apple? The red ones, I guess.
Hard game. Yeah, we, we, when you fall behind on AP volley bear, it's like sound strategy. You die for prio or tempo. It's good strat. So here I give my life for good tempo. Like eventually I'll give my life right. Like this is not a living strategy. Crush is spawn soon. Any second. My Krug tingle is tingling. Ah, there it is. The Ursine speaks for man, and the wild responds. So I'm not gonna take it because he's back here. All I have to do is wait one more wave, and I'll be safe taking them. Let the land thunder Oh, I might die. Gotta hurry before Viego comes. Yeah. I, mean, I don't beat him. Play Rune King. I think going AP Volley Bear was the correct choice here. It's just a one shot, what the fuck? What kind of damage is that? Sonya's I guess. But well, the game is so doomed already. I entered.
gonna need a miracle here. Because my team is doing fine. Maybe they have an easier time dealing with Viego. FF sounds good. Sounds like a plan. This is so unplayable. He won't up me. Our sacred tree, soil, beast, blood. It's so unplayable. Go next. Survive him. I didn't take this. tower. I could have ran for the wave. Maybe I should run for the wave instead. Because now I didn't get the wave and that's a complete disaster. Why do you keep dying? I mean, it's the right thing to do. It's the right macro play to do.
kill or there, damn it. I mean guys, it is the correct macro, like, I'm better off dying up here than staying alive down in my base. Like, it's common knowledge. They have lost their wild. I will it's the Bubba's macro. I could keep the wave here and I can live, but that's a terrible strategy. It's better to risk my life, because then I do more pressure, and pressure is really important. It's hard for me to team fight as well this game. All these range champions. I do have TP though, I'm down to use it. Diego killed my whole team. I mean, it's a bit of a top gap.
Did you fail that? I think it's, it's just over. We can't stop them. Vega is too strong. I wonder why. I mean, what do you mean? I'm not. I'm not like. I know it's kind of my fault, obviously. That's where really it's a loser. GG, get me out. Ghost trick, thank you for sub, thank you sir. Every time I tune in, it's like 210 or 111. Is Volley just a bad champion? No, I misspelled. Loot opening. Okay, so how do I get prestige volley bear skin? How do I get it? How does it work? Maybe I already have it. Search. I don't have him. So, how do I get it? How do I get this skin? Hey, Baboons, just join the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Much love. I want Prestige Duality Dragon Ball Liber. Mythic Essence, I don't know what that means. Oh, here. Okay. Okay. Gotta wait till it comes. Shit. 
So he will appear in this kind of shop then. Yeah. Reroll skins. I don't think it can drop though. Like prestige and hextech skins can't drop from rerolling. You guys, you guys just wanna gamble. I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste my skins here. You see how many skins I have? This is probably a hundred skins. Way more actually, 150 skins. I'm just gonna waste it all. There's no way I'm getting Volibear skin. It's not gonna happen. The odds of that is like so minuscule. It's like it's like lottery tickets. You never win from it. I have Prestige Star Guardian Nico. All right, I'll do one reroll. You need three for this, right? One reroll. If this is not a good skin. I will stop. If it's a good skin, I'll keep going. Legacy content? I don't know what that is. Trash. See, now you want more. <laughs> now, now, now you have the adrenaline. Ooh, gambling addicts are freaking out right now. Yeah, I should do another one, yeah? Next one is a win, yeah? Yeah, I'll do one more. <laughs> Sakura Karma. Are you kidding me? Nah, I gotta do again. One more, one more. Strike Restrial. Thank you for roast. I'm done, guys. I'm done. It's a it's a it's an absolute scam. This reroll system. Free skin for free skins for one skin, like. Who came up with that system? One more, one more, one more, one more. Next, next one, I'll get the Volibear skin. I'm gonna get the Volibear skin. No, Bzigs. That's a new skin, I wanna keep it. So I should probably get rid I I'm I'm re-rolling epic skins right now. Alright, here it is. Pam Pool Party set. I mean the odds, like how many skins are in the game, there's probably like, so there's 150 champions and Estrel has t 15 skins. So like the odds of getting it, it's like one in, one in probably three, four hundred. The odds are low, but not impossible, let's go again. I'm getting that damn skin. No! No! Oof! It's Rakan. Cringe.
According to the League Fandom Wiki page, there are a total of 1,305 skins in the game. There's 1,300 skins? That's physically impossible. Okay, so there's there's 150 champions. So every champion has 10 skins. Like no, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. Hi boss, greetings from Costa Rica. Hello Rackman. People love talking about Lux having so many skins. You guys wanna know a champion with many skins? Right? Undercover champion with many skins. Blitzcrank. That champion has so many skins, probably up to like 11, 12. I skip our boss. Pack bounce, pack bounce, pack bounce. Tetra meth, thank you for some good stream. Q doodle, thank you, sir, thank you. Stick figure spotlight, will of the blades. Follow the wind. Your skills are inferior. Guys, this is good. There's no turning back. This is good stuff. You got gifted? You received a gift from not the fat feeder. Hard seeker vein. Mystery skin gambling. Lol singe, lol singe, lol. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you <laughs> guys. If you wanna, if you wanna send me random skins f t in order to maybe get the volley bear, one in one in one thousand three hundred chance, feel free. <laughs> that main skin not happening. Yeah. 
the rally out. OP even in the animations. Oh no, they're not better than Rivman though. Probably took this guy. Oh, he's League of Legends page. Probably took them what? <laughs> two weeks to make this. Maybe even more. Probably took one guy like two, three weeks to make this one video. I'm already bored. <laughs> Dude, anim animators, they're so scammed. Because it's such hard work and it takes a long time, but it's just. I don't know. <laughs> what is this, man? <laughs> Kick. It can be used when I play Crit Zion, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> don't overuse it or I'm gonna have to remove it. <laughs> this is not happening. I got a warning for having this emote already. I didn't get a warning from Twitch, but they removed the emote from uh, BTTV and I, it's not gonna happen. Clean. YouTube Chris Crit Kitchen Desert in Space I've already had lunch so uh, let's have dessert let's see I chose um, chocolate pudding cake so the way you prepare it is you push all the cake down out of one end this case a legend carefully cut it open away from the velcro because you want to keep your velcro sticking it to the wall then grab your long spoon because it's a long container reach inside chocolate pudding cake looks like it too not bad it's gonna be hard to eat it's gonna be messy catch it Hey, <laughs> good. Mm -mm. That'd be good with coffee. Here's a cup of coffee. Stick my straw in. Mix it up. Carefully open the straw. In the mouth. coffee chocolate cake and coffee food's not so bad damn space you guys ever been to space before dude I don't get it though do they not have um, do they not have um, what what is it called um man-made uh, gravity like can they not create gravity and like have gravity rooms or is that only on movies artificial gravity yeah That's sci-fi. Is it sci-fi? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't keep up with the latest space stuff. 
How hard can it be? Like we know how gravity works. And we're smart people. How hard can it be to create gravity? Like really? We're struggling with that? What am I looking at? <laughs> this is some life. Okay. To have gravity, you have to spin a capsule. Inertia is almost the same, except the central part of the capsule would still experience no gravity, but on the edges it would almost be like a gravity. No, uh, no idiot. Gravity c comes from weight. Uh, this is what I learned in school. That gravity... Gravity comes from weight. So like, black holes, they weigh a lot <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> that's like, that's why like big planets Big planets pull you harder. Something like that. And that's why, like... <laughs> it's like this, right? Guys, mass. Yeah, mass. Exactly. That's what I said. Ooh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I, 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 I. We don't know how gravity works. BRB just turning on my gravity machine. <laughs> you can make artificial gravity by inertial force which mimics gravity. Stop it chat saying no club dance. Yeah, stop it chat. You literally don't know what you're talking about. Guys, one thing that I can tell you, uh, a really smart guy in my, um, a, re a really smart friend of mine told me this, he's very smart, he, you can't live on the space, you know, you know the International Space Station, like, that, that America has or whatever, the one in space, or like, up there, there's no gravity there, right, so you're floating around, you can't live there for long, because your bones is gonna, your bones, uh, they're, they're gonna, like, they're gonna get fucked up. The bones inside you are gonna get fucked up with no gravity. Guys, don't question me in this, dude. Physics and like science was my Welcome best. It was my 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 best. Um, my I was best at it. It was my best topic in school. <laughs> Best physics student at the home school. Free man. Once history was written by and claw. Oh. 
Holy minus three minions on Chen. Holy minus three. First blood. <laughs> Get rolled. Absolutely rolled. Mm, I can't recall. Gotta clear the can away first. Clear this man. The soil hungers for blood. <laughs> this guy thought he was making the sickest play here. <laughs> nah, I think I'm gonna lose a cannon here. Oh well. Maybe if I run really fast back to lane, it will still be alive. Because cannons uh, is a is a big source of income. But it will die. Can't believe I have to teach a science top about physics. The denser the mass from a planet, the bigger the pull is gonna be. All its mass makes a combined gravitational pull on all the mass in your body, and muscles weaken in space cause no resistance. Yeah, mass creates uh, gravity. No shit, who doesn't know that? Bors, my friend, is stuck in Stockholm and doesn't have a place to sleep. Can you help, D? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think my my parents will say if I uh, if I let some stranger into their house, saying he's from the internet, he wants to sleep over? <laughs> Easy bait. Such a death, far greater than your life. Ah, you're baiting me, Hecarim. Just hovering me like this. I, I think we can do something together, but you're just baiting. I'm going AP here again without even thinking about what the bi what best build is. AP is fine versus Shen. Men speak in small words. I speak I'm gonna dive. This is not the only time I'm gonna dive the Shen. Now when I'm with level 6. Oh man, this guy will have a hard time living. Ouch. Balls be like, this handcrafted kinetic animation by amazingly talented artists that is highly entertaining bored me in two minutes in weird champ weird champ weird champ 
Is your idea of entertainment watching paint dry? Anyway, great stream, keep it up. <laughs> well, like what? Oh no, we Lord is back with uh, his epic donations. Maybe Hacker Room gets him, I doubt it though. He should probably just let me die. I'm playing for minion waves. AP build is really good, but uh, I don't know. I still have a hard time knowing when to go what. Because it's very different. AP can be very good, but it can also be useless, like it was last game. It's hard to know when. Fucking hell. Fuck my life! <laughs> I should have just died here, man. Literal. It's better to die earlier, dear, because then I respawn earlier. really mind falling behind though this is one of those games where the Shen will never be able to 1v1 me I, am a I don't think so at least he will never be able to 1v1 me so I so I would always apply a lot of pressure
Okay, okay, Sean. <laughs> it's not even close. The guy is so weak. TP in mid lane. I can stop him from coming back. Oh no, he keeps going. He's gonna miss all of these minions. I don't know why I flash. I don't know. I don't know. I want to go bot lane, by the way. Why PTA over Grasp? It's oh, just better. You mean to kill me? <laughs> it is just better. Fuck. Been missing a lot of cannons today, I feel like. Save me! <laughs> Thank you, Blitz! Way. Ah. Will this be the first win with Simon, the boss of a vess? <laughs> this can never won with me, Rot. Push up top lane here, she secures the dragon. 
the classic. With with Nashers now I can 1v2, 1v3 if I played correctly. I'm still very squishy, but I did a lot of damage. I will go bot now. When are you going back to dating? I don't do the whole dating stuff. I choose to be single. <laughs> Hi Barbos, love the stream. Will you ever be on comms with Trick 2G again? I don't know, man, maybe. This is rough, I'm just dying over and over again. Well, they're gonna need to four man me, three man me again. So every time they four man me or three man me and I die, like, they still waste a lot of their time to kill me. I'm dying. I feel like I'm playing terrible. <laughs> like, this Shen is so weak. It's actually incredible how weak this guy is. But I'm like inting, so. That should have easily been a, a Shen kill plus tower. It's okay though, now I have Hullbreaker, so I'm actually strong. Did 
team is losing by the way. Nah, it doesn't matter. We can't lose this game. Not gonna happen. Shen is going uh, support build with redemption here. Like we're not losing with that. They, they don't have a split pusher to deal with me. So I'm always gonna bring two people on my lane. So my team is basically playing 3 versus 4. I take inhibitor because they're all bot lane. This inhibitor is gone. You see? He's going support build. It's terrible. <laughs> support Chen is, is dog shit. Oh, my team got a quadra. That works. Ha 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 We check this right. Why nah, was this dog shit? Good morning, sir. Guns don't work on Sunday. It's okay. Hi, humans and vegans care too much about being intelligent nowadays. In nature, it's hardly a concern. We want to be happy, but vegans... A prison for deformed slaves. The stupid care for too much about intelligence. What is this? Nor that they are depressed, anxious and generally hate life. Those are clear signs of malnutrition. If you're happy, then you want to celebrate nature every day. You don't complain about it. The reason intelligence is so important to them is because of how stupid they are. They try to cover it up by reading books, going to school, etc. Of course, this doesn't change anything. <laughs> but as long as society accepts belief... Who is he talking about? Who is he talking about? Oh, school. He doesn't like school. ...and memories as intelligence, they will too. Because more than that, they want to be accepted. Shows such as Who Wants to Be a Millionaire promote deformed slaves with glasses who try to memorize everything <laughs> that the government taught <laughs> I have <taught> glasses. <laughs> I have glasses. That's in that no me? way related to intelligence, but that's what they want you to believe. School was created to give you a completely false sense of reality. When you want to make fun of somebody because of how dumb they are, then you may ask them, what is one plus one? Implying that they probably don't know the answer, not realizing that you are the dumb one who has been indoctrinated. Because this has nothing to do with knowing. It's a belief that one plus one equals two. Math doesn't exist, so it is not two because it cannot be anything. <laughs> it's man-made symbols with no natural meaning which means that you have to be taught a man-made system 
to even get into mathematics, and nothing man-made can measure intelligence because it's natural. There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to mathematics because it's opinion-based. So 1 plus 1 could be 5, 130, Happy 6 million. <laughs> Mathematicians may not even be able to wrap their heads around this because of the deep brainwash. They are generally some of the dumbest people out there. We had some of them in school and all of them were malnourished. They had deformities. They were autistic, nervous or underweight. Those are not healthy and intelligent He's not humans. talking about me, by the way. That's the same kind are promoted about. by the mainstream. They are handicapped. <laughs> they try to make up for it so that they can feel special. But to succeed in math, all you have to do is be a slave and follow the rules. <laughs> These are the people who calculate the Earth's curvature based on numbers which they religiously believe, because it's all based on blind belief. They come to conclusions by playing around with man-made numbers. These are the same people who will say that it's ironic if you call somebody retarded but at the same time don't know how to spell retarded, implying that learning a man-made language has something to do with intelligence. That's what school does to us. We will also learn that vitamin A is found in carrots and that we should cook our food. You should realize that these people, especially vegans, are damaged and enslaved and their response <laughs> to what you're saying is not what did he say did he say especially vegans to us we will also learn that vitamin a is found in carrots and that we should cook our food you should realize that these people especially vegans are <laughs> damaged and enslaved and their response to what you're saying is not even their own response because they have been programmed school is supposed to ruin the rest of your life and it works because of how impressionable kids are. Peace. <laughs> I mean, I don't, know. I don't know what that was. Okay, it's trolling, right? He's Swedish, yeah. His YouTube channel was called uh, Sverige, which is Swedish, or it's Sweden. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I can run back. <laughs> Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I mean the guy, I don't wanna I don't wanna be on the guy's side, right? I don't wanna be on his side. Um but like, okay, so 1 plus 1 equals 2, is that correct? Is that correct or is that something man has created, you know? Minions have spawned. The Ursine speak for man, and the wild <laughs> responds. Hello Simon, I know you said no sleepovers, 
but my friend is in Sweden for her bikini competition and needs a place to stay. So I told her about you and she thinks you're very cute. She says she'll do anything for a place to stay, thanks. She'll do anything. I gotta wait out this lethal tempo now. I don't want to die. What's your favorite beer? Oh, I don't shouldn't flash there. I didn't know. I didn't know how close Zed was. I didn't need to flash there. Zed would have killed him without me. Damn it. Damn it. Freak. My land was named by a god. It cannot be renamed by a Also, have you watched Arcane? I've seen Arcane, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rewatch it. And now you're gonna get the clowns in chat hating on on Arcane for zero reason. Arcane haters, yikes! Yeah, nice. I'm just getting absolutely rolled. I got a recall. I mean, Diego is here. Jackson is so fucking hard for all the bear man. I get level six here. No, it's fine. I'm scaling.
Nice, the passive kept. If he wants to do this, he loses a lot. And it's not my lane who gets fed. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lost the force and on Jax. You think the um, Pai Wan Sao is force then? He's challenger in League of Legends. Nice! Please, can we FF the game? Can we please FF now? What a waste! What an absolute waste! Jax open equals lose. Yeah. I've never won versus Jax in my life. Not once. Oh wow, he has divine. Is he gonna outplay me now? Please, can someone kill this guy? I mean, he fucked up the dive so badly. I'm dead. I am dead. Back to perma banning Jax, I guess. I won't let it open.
lost their wild, I will guide them. An ally has been slain. Somehow I didn't die there, that kind of works out. Plating in 6 seconds, I'm, it's not gonna go in time. Maybe I could've gone it. Fine. Should I go divine? No, I don't think so. I can't proc divine versus counter strike. And Viego spaces me really easily, so it's gonna be hard to proc divine consistently. Let the storm follow in my wake. I carved my path with blood. How are we gonna kill him? I don't know why I'm TPing here. Maybe it's winnable. I don't know. Maybe. Bones crunch. Blood drips. This is the way of old Boryor. of the Borior, a land before the Freljors.
We shouldn't fight, we're heavily outnumbered. Why did I do that? You have been slain. Your turret has been Blue build. Yeah, it's not a very good build, but I don't know. It has no damage, this build. That's the problem. to ban Jack, sorry guys. Is macro more important than mechanics? Um, yeah. My bad, my bad. Should I do some more re-rolling for the skin?
Valz, how would you recommend a plat level player to learn macro? Dude, I don't know, man. Cause not uh, so here. Here's the thing that people don't realize. This is like nothing that is not talked about at all. Different champions have different macro. Yeah. So every champion don't follow the same the same macro. So yeah, it's very it's very old. Forgot to ban Jax, oh well. So a, a Fiora is not gonna have the same macro as an Aatrox, yeah? So you have to kind of figure out what kind of macro fits for your champion. It's time for racist volleyball police officer. Actually, know a police officer, right? So, you guys ready for a real story, real legit story? I know a police officer is my best friend's neighbor, right? And this guy, he's he's a nice guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I've talked with him a decent amount of times in my life. He's a father of he's a father of one. He has a wife. He's he's like a nice guy. You guys want to hear some a crazy story? Um, he, uh, he, he stopped some kids, yeah, they were doing some crime, I don't know if they were dealing drugs or, or if they were like speeding, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't, it could have been the least crime or the highest crime, but he stopped these kids, well, they were probably like 16, 17 years old, I think they were like 4 or 5 people, and, and, and he, he went there and he was like, hey, hey, you guys, you're coming with me. And so these kids, cocky motherfuckers, right? They, they were like, we can take him. Like, and, and so, so this guy, police officer then, he beat them all up. Like he won before them. He's, he's built like a complete beast of a man, apparently. And he, he won me forward and won the fight. Like you, you don't fuck with police officers, guys. These guys have like training that is out of the world. Because I always see him, he's always... He's always going with his bicycle everywhere. Like he's perma-training. I mean, he didn't, he didn't kill them, of course, he has, like, put them under arrest. But, like, imagine... Ah, these four little kids, right? Disgusting, attacking an officer like that. You get increased crime then, right? So, okay. So, let's say, let's say your original crime is... Is, um... Is drug dealing. If you then get caught and you try to run from the police or you try to beat him up, that's increased. You 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 get an increased um, sentence, yeah. Then if you just gave up, yeah.
Tat Mist. Playing versus Singed here. That's gonna be a walk in the park. level 2. So what I tried to do there, I, I tried to take turret aggro before my minion died. Does that make sense? So if I take turret aggro before my minion dies, he never gets level 2. But it didn't work as I wanted it to go. Why does his cannon die that fast when it's supposed to slow push in into me? It can is not supposed to die that fast. Many have tried to Could just proxy him to be honest. Joking when are you playing singed? Diana, you're griefing me right now. Not only that she takes my Krugs, but she also refuses to dive in. Boots. No, you already fucked up. You already fucked up with your fucking crack gaming. You already messed it up, man. Diego is puffing towards here. If I'm gonna kill him, it has to be very, very soon. I think I'm just gonna recall.
Deo, 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 deo. Ouch. He's probably gonna ulti on me. Because I have to respect him. I mean, he has ult advantage, I'm very scared actually. I die to him here, it's, it's really bad position to die in. There's so much mana regeneration with ulti. I have no mana. Fuck my life. Well, can you please try to win more games? I'm winning this game. Hopefully. I mean, enemy team has Exodia draft, but should be fine. as well. Nice, that went well. Is this what they recommend on uh, on Volibear? Some of these items are actually good.
Diana, that's your problem now. I won't bother with you anymore. Who's pinging me? Are you stupid? I'm gonna build two items at once. No, oh, never mind. Sinji's gonna go and kill my entire team. That it is what it is. Good luck, team. Can we open the game, please? Can we open? Team? I'm gonna play this one out. I mean, I'm gonna keep ending for farm, right? Maybe I'll carry eventually. What happens? Maybe. Doubt it. Why don't you have bounties? Why don't we have bounties? We're free 13. All our towers are gone. Why don't we have bounties? 350 on singed, and that is it. Are you kidding me? 
we're so behind. Like, we're incredibly behind. Look at ADC farm. It doesn't seem very balanced. Hey, boss, have you ever heard about the famous critique? Never heard of it. Yes, Leandris already. Can we open? That's what I'm saying. Enemy rampage. Darkening clouds. Do you hear that noise? I think it's singed solo bowling the entire game. Quick. FF15. Maybe you can play Singed next game. Maybe. I mean, Singe doesn't have ulti for a bit, right? No, he does have it. I, mean, I doubt that Singe ulti is longer cooldown than mine. So he probably does have it. He doesn't have any abilities. Oh, he has it. Isn't that incredible? Are we not FFing this game? I don't play Singe guys, it's too broken champion. I don't like playing broken champions. 56% win rate, now nah, I'm good. Plays Quinn. Yeah, but Quinn is not broken. Quinn has 2% pick rate. Singed has fucking absurd pick rate for how high win rate it is. Sun is broken. Yeah, maybe Sun is broken actually, true. Shaman is way too broken. Raj should probably nerf it. Chase him, cannon. Battle. 
GG I mean Diana grieves me I mean she didn't grieve me, grieve me but I thought we were diving and then we weren't So it messed me up Can you play one game save please and show me your skill? Dude, you, just, you, just, you literally used play save and skill in the same sentence. How stupid are you? Bounce, you are so offensive nowadays. Oh, am I? I'm offensive. Sorry for offending you, man. Shit, dude. Just seen the newest vid. Oh boy, do I miss these cyan games, Satch. Woody Fruity plays safe and wins a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Or read that. Bro, you should play Sion, he's your champion. Hey, you know what, just for you, I will not play him ever. I will not play him for the rest of the day. Just because you said that. Now with a bit of perspective, do you like the durability patch? No, right is stupid. The durability patch is idiotic. I like having change in the game. It changed the game a lot, but like, right is fucking stupid. Because you get an assassin on your team, you're literally FF15. I mean, it's like this in high elo at least. Like I'm, I, I'm sure like assassins probably fucking destroyed low elos, but like assassins were shit before their ability patch. They were terrible. Mm. In high elo. So now, if you play in high elo, you kind of have to play like good champions if you want to have a chance. You said you play bad champs, Mundo is awful play, Mundo. I don't like Mundo. What, what, are, we, are we still doing these champion requests? We're still champion requesting me. This is ridiculous. Guys, do you seriously think I'm gonna take your, your, your suggestion into consideration? You really think when, when, 10, 000, like, when a thousand people tells me to play 
15 different champions. You really think I'm gonna take it into consideration? Like really? In my in my solo queue high elo game, I'm gonna play your dog shit champion. Yeah, bro, I'll play your Mundo, man. Yeah, I'll start playing Mundo, because you said it, bro. Like, it's not like I played that champion before, and I know he's boring as fuck. Dude, I can't believe I, I, I dude, you, you gotta be the biggest NPC I've ever seen in my life. You gotta be the biggest NPC. This guy's still talking about Woody Fruity. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna ban you. This is ridiculous. Prokovish. Me and Perks, we don't lose games. I mean, we're like full AP, we have Swain, Shivana. It's fine though. Hey Bows, when do I tank Sion versus Lethality? I don't know, I don't play that champion. You know, there is a strategy here guys. There is a legit strategy. You guys wanna know what it is? Start Blade. Okay, so you start Blade, Volibear. Tom Kench gets his first re- You make sure to recall after Tom Kench. He will recall first. He will buy cloth armors, because that's the most gold efficient thing you can do as a tank. Rubber crystal are not very good. He buys cloth armors, and then I go AP build. So I bait him into building armor. Watch this. Watch his first recall. He's gonna he's gonna stack on the cloth armors and I go AP AP volley. He can't buy ruby crystals. Ruby crystals are not good. I mean they're they're fine, but ah. Hello, Mister the Boars FFS. We like your gameplay here at Fiel Reven Coggin. That's why we'd love to offer you a sponsorship. Because like our backpacks, you love to get carried. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll get sponsored by a fucking backpack company. Really. I'm getting real sick and tired of this community, to be honest. Why this community is getting real fucking toxic. I gotta, I gotta hit some sponsors up. This is getting ridiculous now. You guys need needs to be hashtag added. This is ridiculous. Have a good day, Brabus.
NordVPN. No, NordVPN is just a thing in the corner. We're talking, we're talking Raid Shadow here. We're talking gameplay time. We're talking for the next five streams, I'll be playing Raid Shadow. Okay, cloth armors, Tom Kench. Get them cloth armors. You gotta counter me. I'll pretend to buy a longsword. I think he can see that. Oh, what is he gonna build? Oh. Ah, ruby crystal. Shit. Wow. So really? He go he opts in for Ruby Crystal Boots. Imagine that. Ruby Crystal Boots. Really? I don't know. I I like I play tanks. I'm pretty sure that's not gold efficient. Like Ruby Crystal is not good in lane. They aren't. They're not good on some champions. I don't know, maybe Tom Kench has health scalings that I don't know about. Well, plan didn't work. Doesn't matter though. It's like low key a dive angle, by the way. Never mind, I missed my thing. Cardus was top side. He's walking down now though. I will roar the world into still. to uh, remember that this guy has ignite so I don't get I don't get surprised by that omen to those who stand against the wild mod spam the guy who suggests Uder top lane just ban him you say that we are toxic, but every time I drop the funniest shit in these donos, you just bully me. Brabussy sussy, and that makes me so sad. Anyway, have another three dollars, Jigacket. Also, play Mundo Lully. Keep up the great streams, Boobus. Yeah, I'm sure a Lul E user is really funny in the donos. I'm sure you're really funny with your yokes. Sorry, I'm not Omega laughing. I'm sure they're so funny. I don't think I've ever seen such an insane Tom Kench play in my life. What? <laughs> what? I just got so outplayed. What? <laughs> I, I have no words about dude. This guy. What the hell? I'll miss a plating here for blue buff. Oh, he'll miss cannons for this. 
<laughs> Missing a counter wave. High balls. Hello. Hurricane. I'm so sick of my ulti being 10 times longer cooldown than every other ulti in the game. Like really? Really Riot? Do we value Volibear ulti that highly? Just have it higher than everything else in the game? Come on minion. Pig! Pig. <laughs> My turn to do the over the wall switch maneuver. I should peace out. I mean, Cardus is coming topside. I will recall here. Raven is very fed actually. Men speak in small words. I speak in thunder. I have a hard time doing anything to him, he's so tanky. He's gonna have to outscale him. I even bother this, I just secure Grump. Can even beat Tom Kench in a 1v1? I can soon. Two items. 
two free items I become extremely strong. Whoa. What's happening here? Ah, there's no way. I should have flashed. Or not went down here, I guess. I don't know. Now Tom can just get platings he shouldn't be getting. I shouldn't have done that wrong. GG <sighs> oh, Looks like another lose I guess I mean, It doesn't have to be, we can outscale them The biggest problem is Raven and S tier champion Cardus. That's the biggest problem right now. I'm gonna need Hullbreaker. I, I can deal with them, I just need to scale more. Is that Tom Kench top lane? He never resetted?
fucking great, man. I'm so weak. She never bought Torque Seal. Base my spike so much. Can I push next wave? I don't think I can. Not in here. <laughs> They ping me for assistance. Yeah, like that's gonna happen without without my ulti. nature yikes that's pretty rough it's kind of a counter to AP volley can we FF the game I don't know why I press no. Look at my team go. Leaning TSSK, my favorite bear player. You go, guys. 54 stacks, and now at 20 minutes, is that a, is how is that even possible? People still pick this dog shit, useless ass champion as a support. It is mind blowing. Every Senna support player should be reported. Unless you have a specific comp evolved around her, champion is dog. This doesn't do what a support is supposed to do. You know? Huge kill by the way. Winnable. Like the thing is, Senna does what an AD carry what an AD carry does. So if you pick Senna support. You're gonna have to force your AD carry to not pick AD carry. Because you can't have two two in the same role in one team. That's terrible. 
same way as you can't have two tanks in a team. I missed that. Way too strong. Bobus, I am the storm, Bobus. It's not an honorable someone. Volley boring. You don't have to watch if you don't want. I'd rather have fun playing champions I like than satisfy you guys playing champions I don't like. This is not something I win. Draven doing here. GG. Thanks for playing this game. Living or Quinn dispatch? I don't know, I don't really play her. I don't I stopped playing Quinn because they ruined assassins. So you, so the claw the claw Quinn build is just so much worse now. So I don't enjoy the champ the champion anymore.
Why the fuck would a moderator start spamming something that is this annoying for mobile users? I guess I am out. <laughs> shit how to barbecue right four days ago hey welcome back to how to barbecue right I'm Malcolm Reed today I'm going to show y'all how I do a smoked beef tenderloin on the pellet grill this one's one of my personal favorites perfect smoked for Father's beef. Day I'm gonna pair it up with a little mushroom red wine sauce that we're gonna make right on the pellet grill too. It's gonna to be delicious, y'all. Let's get to cooking. So what I have here is the center cut of a whole beef tenderloin. Now you can save some money by buying that Pismo cut from Sam's, Costco, even your local grocery store. It comes in a bag, trim it up. You lose that tail, you lose the tip, you lose the chain. What you're left is this beautiful Chateaubriand or the center part of that beef tenderloin. So you can get your butchers to do this for you or you can save some money and get those trimmings to do some other great recipes with. So the first thing we're gonna do to this beef tenderloin is get a little binder on the outside and I'm just using some good old Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. I just want a little moisture on it. I've had it sit down on the counter for about 15, 20 minutes. It's gonna give us a little color and give us a little something for the seasoning to stick to. Now, first thing we're gonna do that looks is so hit good. it with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Y'all know I'm using my AP rub. And we're just going on with you know, a good medium coat. We're not getting super crazy with it, but I wanna base layer that salt, that pepper, that garlic. I'm gonna fortify that here in a minute. I'm just gonna kinda roll it over. Get this whole tenderloin seasoned on the outside. We want flavor. It's a dense piece of meat. It can take the salt, it can take the seasoning. That looks good on the AP. All sides coated. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of this Traeger Saskatchewan rub. Uh, it has a real nice dark color, a lot of garlic, a lot of black pepper, a lot of good seasonings. Goes great with red meat. If you don't have that, just substitute some extra black pepper, some of your favorite seasons. You can pretty much use whatever you want on this tenderloin. We're just gonna roll it. It's a lot of seasoning. Same thing. We want it on all sides equally seasoned. I like the difference in the texture, the AP rub versus the Saskatchewan rub. Pairs really nice when we smoke. And that looks good right there. You got that <laughs> nice color on the outside. It looks good enough to eat almost right Doesn't now. Look good. It needs to set just a few minutes to let these seasonings oh, yeah, work I, I on the know. outside of that beef. I'm gonna fire up the Traeger grill with some hickory pellets, get it running at about 250. It's gonna be perfect time to put this thing on. So the Traeger is running about 250 degrees right now, just right at it. That's right where I want it. We got the hickory smoke rolling. I'm just putting the beef tenderloin right on the rack, kind of off to the center just a little bit and straightening it up. We've just formed it up with our hands and it's going to cook in this shape right here now after about 30 minutes i'm going to put a probe in it check that internal temperature right now we just need to get some smoke on it let's go work on those mushrooms so i've got about three pints of mushrooms going into an aluminum half size steam pan mushrooms this is an easy recipe you don't have to do anything to it just dump Meat. it in and get it on the pit we're going to add a couple little shallots that i diced up about five or six or as many cloves of garlic as you want and then we need some of our friend butter i'm not going to use the whole stick but i'm going to put several pats and just kind of scatter them around in the pan a little bit now we got to season it up and i'm just using some of that salt pepper garlic that ap seasoning you could use whatever you like here just need a little bump what we're going to add some liquid you, he's to gonna it. Eat. that's going to help these mushrooms that look good, down but... Help them I'm done for the meat, but these delicious. mushroom we're stuff, I don't this know. Nice rich sauce. First, we've got some Worcestershire, and I'm eyeballing it. If I had to guess, about a quarter cup. Then you got to have some red wine. You need about a cup. Use something you like to drink. Then we've got a little bit of beef broth, about the same amount, about one cup. Just pour it right around. You should see the liquid coming up in the pan, but you don't want it just submerged at this point. And last but not least, I'm going to fortify that flavor with a little bit of beef broth base. But it gives these mushrooms a nice rich flavor to go with the butter, go with the Worcestershire, go with the wine. Uh, the mushrooms are going right on the opposite side of the beef tenderloin and they're gonna start cooking down we'll get the lid closed and we're gonna keep on cooking so the beef tenderloin's been on the grill about 30 minutes this is when i want to start monitoring internal temperature i've got one of my thermalworks dot alarms set for 120 internal got our mushrooms cooking down beef tenderloin looking good it's got some beautiful color on it i'm just going center mass you want to kind of gauge about how far you need to go so i'm going in i'd say about an inch and a half we're setting it about 97 Seven internal so we've come up but we still got a little ways to go check it out y'all the thermal works dot 
It's actually bumped up to 121. That's where I want to take this tenderloin because I know it's going to carry over. I'm going to hold it for at least 20, 30 minutes. Beautiful color on the outside. It's going to be nice and tender. It's still going to be on the rare side, but it's fixing to carry over to about 125, 126 degrees. I'm going to watch it. We're just going to wrap it up in foil. Mushrooms are doing their thing. To We're just going to keep letting them simmer down. We're starting to get some good color on them. All that shallot and garlic softening up. We're getting all those flavors from the wine. Let's close the lid on it. Let them keep rolling while we rest this beautiful beef tenderloin. So I just pulled out a sheet of aluminum foil, set the tenderloin right on it, and we have already carried up to 123 degrees. Getting it off at 120 is the ticket. It's gonna keep going. It's nice and warm outside. All I wanna do is tin it up, keep my probe inside the meat. That way I can watch it. It's gonna be about 125 to 127. That's where they always finish. But you want that carryover, and we're catching any juice that might wanna settle out. You know I'm gonna use that. Now I let the beef tenderloin hang out here on the cutting board for about 30 minutes. It's carried over to 132 degrees, a little further than I expected. I thought so it was- what's a, what's a F? Fahrenheit to Celsius. 32 equals zero. So this is 100 Celsius. We go about 127, but hey, it's a hot day. Now we're going to get it out of the full and don't throw that juice away. Leave it in the full. You can serve it over these steaks when we get it cut up. Now, when it comes to carving this bad boy, no, how is it not? That's not how it works. No, <laughs> that doesn't work then. Oh, I can do this. 130. Oh, 54. Oh, it says the formula here. Okay. <laughs> I might as well. I'm cutting it into fillet size. You could go as thick or as thin as you want, but I want a nice, juicy piece of steak. Now, I'm just eyeballing my sizes. It's about an inch and a half, but just let the knife glide right through it. It's so tender, there's no resistance. Now, let's pull one of these center pieces out here. Check this out. You can see the juice in the meat. That's it's perfectly juicy. cooked from edge to edge. That's what smoking it low and slow on that pellet grill does. I can tell it's tender. The knife just fell right through it. This is how I want to eat beef tenderloin. Perfect fillet size, nice and thick, juicy. Now we got to top it with some of these mushrooms. To now for these, because it's not linear, it's so stupid. mushrooms all i did was took them off the pit and then poured them up into a serving bowl now look at them they're good right there by themselves you can eat them with a spoon and go to town but we're going to serve them over these pieces of beef tenderloin that we've sliced up so let me show y'all how we're going to serve this up i'm going to get me a piece of this out look at it beautiful medium rare from edge to edge that's what doing it nice and slow on that pellet grill does. Medium rare. I'm going to top it up yeah. with some of these mushrooms that I got off the Imagine not to have it, a not in doing here. well done. Down. Everything's come together in them. I'm just going to put a little over the top. Go back and get you a little of that juice. And let it just run over too because you know that's good for dabbing. But this is what I've been waiting on, trying this meat. I'm going to cut it to where I can get me a little piece of that outer edge, that crust on it. I want to taste those flavors inside. Perfectly cooked. A little bit of mushroom. How we do? Mm. Melts in your mouth. Better than any filet you could ever cook like that. You get the pepper. You get the garlic. You get the salt. You get those coarse herbs that's in that Saskatchewan rub. That is good, though. I got to beat these flies to it, y'all. But look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Mmm. Y'all, this was perfect for Father's Day or any other special events you got going on. Cook you one of these beef tenderloins. It doesn't take long. You want to season that outside? I use a little bit of Worcestershire on the outside. AP, Saskatchewan rub, 250 degree pellet grill till that internal temperature hit 120. And we wrapped it up and let it carry over for about 30 minutes. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Shell and I will talk about this beef tenderloin recipe, all the other fun stuff we're doing on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen too. We'll see y'all next time. Weekly podcast? Is that, is that something I should look up? That sounds a bit interesting. Weekly podcast with How to Barbecue Right.
I don't know what happened there, guys. I think it's Twitch top lane. Twitch Vegar top lane. Interesting. Bows open a restaurant. Oh, a restaurant. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Let the land thunder. With so the thing with restaurants, right? So okay. There's like Italian restaurants, right? Spaghetti and bolognese and stuff like that. And then there's like Chinese restaurants. We're talking sushi. And and then we have like we have these multiple restaurants who is like they have this theme why can't you make a restaurant where you serve everything you know like yo come come to me i serve burgers and sushi you know why did nobody think of that That was a bad aim, damn it. <laughs> Terrible aim. Battery. Boom, bullseye. They have lost their wilds. I will guide them. Ready for another bullseye? Chinese sushi manka laugh. What happens? I mean, yeah, Japanese, right? Big damage. He's dying here. What have I done? That was so bad by me. First blood. An ally has been slain. Cover map, boots. please. How are you? I covered. I'm not gonna cover map. Are you out of your mind? You know, this cover map stuff is mostly a mental game. Like, they think the enemy are. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Probably that there. 
At least I have TP here, so I don't lose much. Which is mid lane. Even in a cowardly man, the heart is wild. That is why it must be eaten last. I don't know where Uder is, I'm terrified. He's hovering towards here, so I'm actually... I'm actually gonna disengage. But I'm actually here. Easy. Just needed to make sure Udo wasn't here to kill me. I can do that whenever I want. Is it a claw gaming angle? I don't think it's a good, great idea to go claw. I don't know what the build. I don't know what the build. It's like Twitch. It's so good to go AD versus Twitch. So we kind of have we have we have enough AD already. So if I go AD, Udo will stack armor, and that's gonna be a problem. I mean, I could go claw, I could, but Uder will own me then. I will have a great game, but Uder will mess me. I think I'm gonna go claw. I shouldn't be scared. Bringing it back. The one shot build. What the fuck? Taking Krugs there actually was really bad. Because then he could. Yeah, I got so screwed over Get under my own tower. Dark 
darkening clouds. <sighs> An omen to those who stand against the wild. I don't know why Kinder is here. Well, I would have done this alone, but it's fine, I guess. She gets a mark, so. If it's worth her time, sure. I don't even want to look at bot lane. Worth 100% worth. Have you ever reached rank 1 on EUNE? Yep. But this was like season 5 6. Getting rank 1. Then, that's really mean anything. Rank 1 soon. Is Kindred is yes. She is she okay? Are you okay, Kindred? You wanna talk about it? Your turret has been destroyed. I split mountains with my roar. The creation 
Legends of Mortals fail. I won't fuck up my dive now, because I have ulti. I don't know if I, I probably didn't need to flash, why do I do that? And I use claw as well. Oh great, I died so I don't get the... <laughs> local gold. I need black lever still, like... Can't play... Like, you can't play assassins anymore, you can't play lethality assassins. You're literally griefing. Like this Kiana right here. Like she can be the best player in the, in the world, but she, she doesn't deal damage. I need black lever. Kind of the problem that I said with lethality. I can't do anything versus Uder. Then why do you build it? I don't know. Was a mistake, obviously. Oh, I mean, it would have been good though, before the durability patch. But now after the durability patch, this item is just garbage. The item is fine, I guess. It's just like... I don't know. It feels so shit playing it. I'm not gonna TP here. I don't wanna go anywhere Uder is. I split, I think. Tarek got the shutdown, 1k to Tarek. Holy, do we open or what? Soil 
beast. Oh, six hundred. It's pretty good, though. If my team can hold the enemy team, I will perma kill the Twitch, I guess. The only one who can really stop me is probably Uder. Maybe Vegar. Let's get burn. What do you mean push? There's an Udo here. Fuck. So close. Could have TP'd maybe. If that would have been worth it, not sure. Right now we're just playing to waste their Baron as much as we can. I mean guys, I could TP out, right? But... Then what, you know? I live, but this death doesn't do anything anyway, so... Your turret has been destroyed. for now. Oh no. How many stacks? 134 stacks! My Senna last game had 50 stacks at the same uh, time. L same, same time last game, my Senna had 50 stacks. This guy has 134. Holy. OP champ. Yeah, well it's good if you have Uder Jungle and Seraphim bot. Then it's actually alright. But usually you get Kindred, Jungle. That's another useless pick, by the way. I guess we're giving Dragon. Both me and the Twitch one shot each other. He's not here. He's killing my team instead. I mean, there are two on me. 
me, I guess. And I got his flash, so. When the night is cruel and dark. Storms dance upon the sword. Mm. I'm on my way here, maybe we can kill him. So, like we can't do these team fights. Maybe I'll TP flank. This might be good. Might be winnable. <laughs> Kiana damage! Kiana damage! He did 60% of Vagar health. Full combo. <laughs> yeah. This is what you wanted, guys. Yeah, that's what you wanted, guys. Holy shit, assassins were way too broken, man. And that's our strongest assassin we have in the game. That's the strongest one we have. Let's go, boys. 60% damage. In late game. What a shit game, man. I've, I've got Kiana mid lane. Shit, man. What, five times today? Like, I don't know why people keep picking that, by the way. Anyways, Assassin should one shot, two levels down at two items. I mean, yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? Okay, so the Vagar had Sonya's, and that is it. And he didn't even use it correctly. This is a 45 armor item. Yeah, okay, so that's 800 gold chain vest. So, okay. Dude, there are literally items like Maw and Death Stance in the game. Bruisers are the most broken thing ever. Tanks are decent. You're gonna sit here and tell me that a Kiana feeding full item, fu full combo, should deal 60% on a 800 gold uh, value item? Like, that makes no sense. Like, you, you don't get it, man. Like, Sonya's gives 45 armor, that's 800 gold worth of money. So, okay, so 45 armor, and Kiana is not a champion anymore? Uh, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's trash. She had two items. Yeah, but still. I don't know. Think what you want. SS is a fucking dog shit. Assassins are absolutely terrible. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the stream.
Take care, guys.